in Stuttgart for four days and every day first thing in the morning I visited the Porsche Museum and this is the third film in the series of Porsches in the details so I wanted to take this chance to talk a bit about the car which I didn't see gathering much attention during my visit maybe it was you know just coincidence but the 919 uh, hybrid racer was not gathering a huge crowd people not rushing to take photographs as they were doing for the other cars in the museum This car uh, won Le Mans three years in a row and it was facing a fierce competition from Toyota and Audi in the LMP1 class. Maybe it's not iconic as the 917 or maybe I say that because I'm a bit romantic and nostalgic let's say but it's a, it's a hugely important car for Porsche's history and the car you see here is the latest iteration of the racing machine which is the 2017 model and but mostly I would like to talk about the Evo version which which is you can say the 2018 model which was the unrestricted version of the 2017 racer. For those of you who are uh, obsessed with the Nürburgring lap times, this Evo version is the fastest car ever in that circuit, which is a bit upsetting for me uh, because the previous record was held since uh, 1983, which was held by Stefan Belov with Porsche 959 racer uh, it's a bit sad because uh, Stefan Belov was a hugely promising driver for some he was considered as the future star future champion of F1 but he was never in a machinery that he could really show his talent but his talent was shining in sports car racing However, sadly, he was killed uh, in a race, but he was remembered by Nürburgring lap record since 1983. So it was, in a way, sad that it was ended by the 919 uh, hybrid racer. Though the uh, race car itself uh, won the prestigious uh, Le Mans race for three years in a row and also became the endurance champions for those three years between 2015 and 2017, uh, the Evo version uh, grabbed the headlines maybe more than the racer did because uh, it was announced like it was faster than an F1 car at Spa uh, Francorchamps. Uh, it, it beat uh, Hamilton's uh, qualifying lap time, which is quite an achievement, but you should take this with a pinch of salt, let's say, because uh, this was the unrestricted version of the Le Mans racer. So in that sense, I mean, it just saying it was faster than an F1 car is to give you an impression of how fast the car was. I mean, if you were also to unrestrict the F1 car, it would blow the doors of the uh, prototype racer. There's no doubt about it. But it's just to give you the impression how fast the Evo version was. So what was the Evo version about? The car is basically the same, but they just wanted to show the world what the car was capable of doing, say, in a world where there was no restrictions, like the good old days in Can-Am races, 
where the 917 was dominating the series. The car speed at the Ovush corner is over 300 kilometers. Like uh, it's just amazing, and it was hitting at the Camelot straight like 360 or something so it's just an amazing speed and how did they do it uh, the first maybe the most important thing is the aero on the car it's got a huge uh, rear wing for massive increase in the downforce as well as a huge diffuser and a bigger front splitter as well as a different front end and it's got uh, side skirts that are not allowed in the racers which creates ground effects which means some more downforce to keep the car moved and it was pulling 5 G's through the corners which is, which is a massive amount for any race car let alone an LMP car and the car has a 2 liter V4 uh, turbocharged engine as well as an electric engine that powers the front wheels and by uh, de-restricting the fuel flow the car's engine's power uh, was raised from 500 to 720 horsepower so if you are like me and think that the 917 was the most iconic Porsche race car ever. Don't despair, it's coming to this channel sometime in the future.